Good morning, it's Jeff and Wilma at Budrum. I'm going to show you how we how to cut and prepare green mango for the freezer. So what I do is just peel them with a vegetable peeler. The flesh inside these is quite yellow. I'm just taking off the green part of the skin. So where it's, where it's a bit dark green, I just peel that off. We harvested these yesterday. We got a heap of these mangoes from the property. I'm looking after this bloke's bees. He's got a lychee and passion fruit farm. And these mango trees are fairly close to the bees. And I'm able to pick these mangoes for my own consumption. These mangoes that we're, we're cutting green to freeze are the ones that we picked from the, the high part of the tree and I used a, a long bit of bamboo and a, a bucket and some of them didn't work out, they crashed down to the ground. Oh, missed! And some of them hit the side of my truck and the roof and all that sort of thing and I imagine they could be quite bruised inside so when they ripen probably be severely bruised so we so while they're green I'm just peeling them and just dicing them for the freezer so now that I've peeled those I'll, I'll show you how we cut them up so we'll just cut the stem off and I'll just cut a, a thin slice off there which creates a flat surface so then I'll just work out which way the seed runs so you can just lay it on that flat surface and you cut two scallops off each side These mangoes are the R2, E2 variety, Australian mangoes, and very fleshy mango. What you do when you've done that is just trim off any flesh that's on the seed. This reminds me very much of green pawpaw. It does. Yeah. The texture, the colour, the crispness. Yeah. And we're going, to, we're going to do everything with this that we did with the green pawpaw. So now that I've done that, I'll just uh, dice it up. We, had, we tried two ways to freeze it. We blanched it and froze it, and then we just froze it fresh. And I think we're just going to freeze it fresh without blanching it. Oh, it didn't make any difference, did it? No. So we discovered that green pawpaw is fantastic as a vegetable and when we had pawpaws laid on we prepared quite a few of them for the freezer to use as a vegetable and we mix it with sweet corn and uh, snake beans in a, in a vegetable mix uh, in our cooking. One of our honey customers was here this morning, he commented about all the mangoes and I told him where we saw a tree that was loaded so I said to him why don't you go and ask if you can help yourself you know so he went and asked them and he came back to, to borrow my uh, mango cutter thing and it was too big to put in his car so I drove him around and got a great big bucket for myself as well so he, he got a heap for himself and I got a bucket so I've got these ones here that come crashing down under the pavement and so I'm going to treat, cut them as well. These are beautiful bone mangoes. There's even a, a bunch of bananas there where the, where the mango tree was and uh, we ended up getting that bunch of bananas as well because the people said they weren't going to use it. So we just we just grabbed it and went halves in the bananas. Right, I'm still going with these green mangoes. I've got this thing going to be full. If, an, if somebody come and ask me to come out and fix some mangoes this afternoon or tomorrow, I think I'll say no. <laughs> I think I'll say no. You're wearing yourself out, aren't you? I'm just about mangoed out. But I don't, I don't mind the lovely smell in the house, Jeff. 
No, it's got a, it's got a, even though it's uh, green, it's got a beautiful, beautiful, uh, fresh, clean, clean fresh smell. smell. Yeah, beautiful. And no, look at that. I've already, that's the third one of those I've cut since yesterday. And would you believe I've got a blister on my finger? <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> you poor baby. So, uh there, so I'll keep on going. <laughs> I've finished my chopping. I've got this full. Now, I've got a few of these bags. A, a bloke did a deal. Now, if you're watching Tony, g'day Tony. Um, a bloke bought me boxes and boxes of these plastic bags in exchange for a bucket of honey. So I couldn't refuse. And these are fantastic bags. So what I'm going to do is just fill it up with these. Whack it in the freezer. I think I've got enough for a second bag. Well, here's our second bag full. And chop a block. Okay, so look at that. It's fantastic. Mm. So I've got a nice little spot in the freezer for these. So that's the third and the fourth one. So I've got another two of them in the other freezer. And I've got more in the fridge. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later. Bye.